Uh, so this is where we store all the casks. Um, and I just, this is the tank where we send the tanker out from the distillery and it gets pumped into here. So there's two tanks per farm that comes out and gets pumped into here. And then the guys fill the casks on the pallets uh, on this. So you can see uh, as you go down, we'll just have a quick look. that uh, each row is a single farm and you can see then there's a gap between the farms so if you want to walk down and have a look there's space in between each uh, stack of pallets as well and when we were starting the specification I had to be able to fit through it <laughs> so it still works so, um, so the idea of that is to leave air circulate like we could put it up on top of each other, but the air won't circulate then. And what will happen then is you'll have these honey casks in the middle. We want all the casks to be treated the same. Now you will have some temperature difference between the, the bottom and the top, obviously, because the heat rises in that. So each one of these is a single farm. And obviously we don't fill the middle. Like if we were to stack this out with just filling casks, all this would be full as well. But we need to be able to get in at the casks uh, to be able to take samples and stuff and usually what happens is you'll see the front of each farm has a representation of the four cast types and we learned that the hard way because say if we fill the American ones first we put them in then the French then the VDN and then when I was looking for samples I had to pull out all the casks to get them so we have we have American new uh, uh, French VDN and American force fit in the front there so we can just draw samples of it and then obviously you can see the different size of casks uh, so the majority of casks are kept on pallets and next door when we go next door you'll see we have some racking for some oversized casks and these are this is what what story with this one Gary what story with this one damage so why are you doing that? Yeah. So normally they are kept bung up, but and that's not can't be kept bung up. It goes to a kind of a separate area, so that it's not taking up space because, like inside in the racking, if you're rolling them, yeah, yeah, you need to kind of have them bung up and that, so that'll get moved. And these ones then, these are not French. No, these are. Yeah, so these are French premium. So these would have came uh, originally as French uh, virgin casks, and we would have filled them and then emptied them and, and, and used them again. So we have a little bit of French virgin casks uh, for a bit more color, like we were talking about before. The French or the American virgin gives you color, but if we had too much um, American, uh, you have too much of that uh, creme brulee kind of. Um, taste and that so we bought some uh, French virgin uh, just for a color and a little bit of that lignans and talons and obviously an American an American cast so these are 400 liters so if we were to buy say two American casts the equivalent of this uh, it'd probably be less about six hundred dollars these are probably at the moment about 950 Euro euros so, yeah yeah, 950, 950 for one for 400 litre. Uh, there were eight something last year, eight seventy five last year, they're 950 now. Um, the 225 uh, French virgins this year are, I don't know, the 890 or something like that, or something in around that. So yeah, they're, they're not cheap, but, you know, we're not out to buy the cheapest casks, we want the best casks. Yeah, so I haven't a clue. I'd imagine there's not too many people who are buying distilleries who are buying French virgin casts. Um, and like we, it'll be there for five or six years or maybe three years, depending on, on when we use it. Like, but it's, it's not, it'll be there for the long haul as such. Yeah, so, yeah. Slightly interesting, all right. Uh, we'll go next door and have a look. And if there's any casks you see, you want to ask questions about, you've the scanner, have you? 
So we'll be able to scan and we'll be able to tell you uh, a little bit about them. What was the name of the tool? The bunghole extractor. <laughs> yeah, they call it the bung puller. I still call it the bunghole extractor. <laughs> um, was Neil on to you about the biodynamics coming next? No. That'll be small volume. Okay, yeah. Uh, we're not getting very good yield off it, so. Right. Uh, I'll have a quick look. I asked him to send you a mail there today, but. That's the uh, one coming next week, yeah? Yeah. yeah no, so it'll be small volume, anyway. Yeah. Um, like the others are probably. I <laughs> don't, don't fuck the. Hey, this is all part of it, like. Fuck's sake. Eh? Lovely sight. Yeah, yeah. So here you have uh, racking on one side for the oversized casks. So we'd have casks up to, uh, well, when I say oversized, probably from 300 to 660 litres is our biggest cask. Um, so we have different size casks in different places. And then these are just single farms. So usually what we do is, um, when we started, we had um, the farms split between, uh, one year split between the two uh, warehouses. And now we have probably a one year split into four warehouses. So God forbid if anything was to happen, we wouldn't lose all the stock. So we kind of rotated every so often just from an insurance point of view to make sure that uh, the stock is uh, not all in the one area. Um, G Gary. We'll say this one, would you be able to see what kind of a f one in one that is? Yeah. So that's VDN. Oh, that's VDN. You'll be able to get what was in it beforehand oh, off yeah. the computer. But it's John Donald and uh, That's a VDN one, right, okay. So it's probably a or something like that yeah, then, it's yeah. A, yeah. Yeah, any of the ones that look like French are usually reef salt or saw and yeah. stuff like that, yeah. Okay. Start tasting below, will we? Yeah, can do, yeah. Or which is? We're starting with John Tully here. Grand. So this is 16, is it? No. Yeah, this is 16, yeah. So first fiddle down here, is it? Yeah. These ones, These ones yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so what we have here is uh, we have the same farm in the four different cast types. So we start, I always start with the first fill, then American Virgin, French, and VDN. So, as I said to you earlier on, it's going to be a little bit cold, so. Come around, gather around, people. Uh, Ian, do you want one? I want to make a new Forceful. Forceful, yeah. So, might need a little bit of a warm up, like it's all. Heads, big hands. Ah, yeah. So, this is uh, Farm John Tully. And this is from 2016. So, uh, Gary, do you know when this is filled, Gary? Sorry? What date was this filled, you know? Any, do you know the date? No. Uh, no, I didn't get it for you. Oh, time. grand. So, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, you know? So, this is coming up to three years old, anyway. Or, sorry, seven years old. What am I saying? Seven years old. So, this is one of the oldest mm -hmm. yeah. um, farms we'd have. Of 21, so it's coming near the end of 16, so. Six and a half years old, and a half years old yeah. We had, um, we had 31 farms in 2016, so it's uh, probably six and a half, I'd say, yeah. So 
So you can you can offer you can offer your thoughts, and I'm not going to tell you about it now. You can have a. Mm. Do you taste it? No. Do you want to? <laughs> Educational. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> Is it? Medicinal, yeah. It? Yeah. yeah. Mm. Nice, nice heat, spice, unctuous. Yeah, a lot going on in the yeah. complex there. Yeah. So what I'll do is I'll give you the American Virgin. You can smell against it, and obviously it'll be a bit more oaky in that. But see, can you uh, follow the farm notes as such, like? Okay. I'll give you that one. Any more, Gary? One more there. Yeah. Yourself. Uh, yeah, we still haven't got an order in. Should be next week. Ah, it'll be all right then. So that's It's the same farm. It's the exact same. And the same filling date. Same filling date, yeah. Yeah, they were filled the same time. And for me, it's not a, it's not as oaky as I thought it would be for six and a half year old whiskey. And you you can smell some of the same characteristics of the spirit even still like. Uh, I hope you appreciate the performance we asked the weather to do for us as well with the <laughs> the wind and the yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Packing a little bit of a bigger punch. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, first one, yeah. And that's probably because the spirit in the barley is getting more of a chance to shine than in the virgin, which is a little bit, a uh, little bit stronger. Okay. So if you want to, I'll get you the VDN ones then. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. Pass that along. VDN. I'll leave that one there for you. Pick a cask and you keep on that cask. Third one. Yeah, I think everyone is. <laughs> so did, this is a, a VDN cask. I'm not sure exactly. What was in the previous, you will find out, all right? <sighs> Sorry? Yeah. Yeah, it's, 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 it's a lot softer. It's not as spicy, not as aggressive. It's dry and chewable. Yeah, yeah. Casks have more effect on it than. Yeah, the cask is having a, a nice effect on it there now. And we'll get the French one, and then we can do a cross reference, and you can do a bit of blending if you want. Thank you. 
Yeah. Okay. Um, again, it's still cold, so. So it's, it's still probably uh, still probably going to be sixty. Ah, uh, probably sixty-four, five at this stage. Yeah, yeah. I'd say sixty-five, maybe. This is yeah. Hmm. Yeah. So that's, that's the French one, yeah. There's a the nice bit, obviously, has a kind of that flowery softness to it. So, when you smell and taste, do you have a preference in any of those casks? Force fill still. Can you take it to Sorry? Red, red wine cask, yeah. yeah. And the colour then I suppose is, is you know, it has that pinkish uh, hue to it as well, which is unusual as well, like. Yeah. And when I'm doing some of the lighter whiskies <laughs> yeah. When I'm doing some of the lighter whiskies like uh, I did a bottling for spring and summer, um peak leak for the summer. I used a good bit of the French European oak because it, it was a lot lighter than the, the American, uh, especially the American version. It has, that more, has a little bit more elegance to it as well. So if you want, you can put a little bit of each together and see what you end up with. So I'm just going to put a drop of well, just a little bit of it. <laughs> <What? laughs> and like I said, I would usually use the force fill as the base, but you can do whatever you want. Why would you go with force fill at the base? Because Be it's got that complexity as well. Ah, yeah, well, that's, that's the one that most people are used to in whiskey terms anyway. Yeah. Nearly all whiskeys are, are force fill casts that are used. So that's the kind of... <laughs> I, I haven't a clue, sir. So when you do repeated uh, types of... Ever, ever, everyone has done the same. Yeah, but do you do it from every distillery or uh, every farm? No, no, it's only two farms a year. Okay. So is it always the same? Two? No, no, we've done different farms. Okay. So we, we start with the... the the first two we started with were, was close to the, where we, the bog was. Oh, okay. And we've, we've moved around for different reasons then as well. So you're just um, collecting experiences with... Yes, with exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. How look like? boy. <laughs> is it? It's good. 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 It's there's, there's more on the nose on that. Yeah. yeah. That's nice, but I find you have to, 
you have to smell it, sniff it, whereas that's good. That's good shit, that. So that's my concoction of the forecast. The, my what's up? The five minute cuvee. <laughs> two minute cuvee. <laughs> <laughs> it's different it's different there's no such thing as better there is. there's no such thing as better it's, it's it's i suppose trying to it's just trying to get the different casks all contributing without one being too dominant like and what i find was when people find a cask they like they make that dominant and it's not in balance with the other ones then like. It should make it professional. <laughs> <laughs> I, and I'll never be a master distiller because to be a master anything you should be doing it for 20 or 30 years. Not, I thought you have to not, feel it good. I thought you said I had the money about it. <laughs> 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 I'm not getting paid enough. <laughs> so, Jesus, hey, Gary, that's nearly as bad as we ever heard it, is it? Um, so that's one farm. We'll move on to another farm, then we can have a look at the same thing. Hold on to your concoction. Yeah. Oh, John Rowe, yeah. Actually... <laughs> no, no. No, uh, there's, there's, actually, there's actually about 140 different farms now, so... So this is John Rowe 2017, and actually uh, I used uh, one of John Rowe's uh, in, in your makeup there today, uh, I use these American uh, virgin cast, one of them. So we'll start with the force fill again. So this is the next farm. We all got glasses. So, uh, John Rowe is a Wexford farmer. A lot of our farmers are from Wexford because there's a lot of barley grown in the southeast. And he's pro from a place called Killin' Nick. What's the, what's the farm name? It's not Killin' Nick, though. It's, uh, and, uh, Killin' Nick is the small little area where he's from. Denise would want me to say that. <laughs> so, this is a little bit more expressive, I think, on, uh, from the first field. From the, no, 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 it's all, all these are conventional. Again, good oils and the color is what we'd expect is light. You have a certain characteristic that you look for. <coughs> I suppose you're doing this, what, you're putting yellow whiskey for four years? Yeah. Is there a certain characteristic that you Not really, no. Just go whatever, whatever the farmer, if it's a single farmer, just go, go whatever it's telling you. Okay. And if it's a cuvee, then it's trying to just bring them all together to give the best flavours. Actually, that's, that's spicy at the end, in the back of the, yeah. back of the palate. And it has a kind of um, a little bit of, a, on, your, on the lips there, has a little bit of, nearly even saltiness on the lips. You know, it has a, that kind of little bit puckering thing, yeah. That's some flowery aroma. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was going to say it has a kind of a, a green leaf. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's a spring whiskey. Mm. That's, yeah. 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 And then we'll go for the, the American Virgin. <laughs> this is the American Virgin one. American Virgin. Anyone else for the American Virgin? Anyone for the last American Virgins? Yeah. And this this is a bit so, this is softer than the than the previous American Virgin we had as well. So is the force fill. So the, obviously the the spirit itself is 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 a little bit softer than. Um, Who's the first farm we were tasting? Uh, John Tully. John Tully. He's Wexford lad as well, is he? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. 
Mm. Nice roundness to it. So this is one of the casts that we used in the when we did one, two, three, or did three and four um, of the makeup uh, this morning. It's good, yeah. Uh, so this was the uh, this was I know when this is filled, the first of the seventh, twenty seventeen. The end. Of it. So first of the sixth, sorry, twenty seventeen. We're gone very quiet, lads. Are we? Are we tired? No. Yeah, it has that kind of yeah, uh, a kind of little bit vegetable, vegetable. Okay, yeah. yeah, yeah. And also rooty. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Kind of earthy. Yeah. Chocolate. Chocolate. Yeah. One, one. Dark, yeah, one, yeah. dark chocolate, yeah. yeah. Um, that one then is the VDN, is it? Yeah. yeah. Anyway, throw them out, Ian. Thank you, Neil. VDN. Oh. Again, like I said earlier, it's cold. It's not going to be as open as if we had it back at the tasting room, but. That's the wine cast, is it? Yeah. Is it so, yeah, it's sulphur, then, yeah. Sulfur, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like I said, the first few Mark got were, yeah. were sulphur, so. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, it's, actually, it's, it's both on the nose and the taste, where earlier it was just on the nose and not on the taste. So that's something that you'd be kind of, uh, you'd be using just one cask yeah. maybe in a, in a big blend just to yeah. yeah yeah because uh, some people are very sensitive to mm. sulfur yeah. and other people don't care some people like yeah and this is the vdn oh yeah 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 we'll see how we Everyone got one? Do you have one in? A lot of sulfur. Yeah, a lot of sulfur, yeah, on the taste and the nose. Where the one we had earlier on in the tasting room, a little bit on the nose and none on the taste, really. Yeah, sorry, you that one? Yeah. This is kind of honey honeyish, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it has that uh, kind of a honey, honeycomb uh, nose to it. Oh. Mm. Never will be, but it could be. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's. Uh... <laughs> Sixty. Have you a pen? Sixty ninety three. Just write that in your paw, so I'll know what it is for future. Yeah, John, John Rowe is, is yeah is, is good farm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Very mm. sweet. 
<laughs> Honeycomb. Tropical dildo. I was going to say a bit of pineapple kind of. Yeah, that's, yeah. It's a very sweet Ant- dessert. Ant- yeah. Ant- yeah. Antelope, yeah. Antelope. <laughs> Right, we'll see can we do something now and we'll see can we get a bit of sulphur in without it being too... Uh the American Virgin. Sweetness, yeah. like yourself. You lost your pinky. Yeah. You lost your pinky. Coke zero. Oh, Coke zero. Later, later. No one push that on. Uh, I don't. I don't know. I will have to find out. But p- possibly, looking at it, possibly Which start one? D- yeah. the last yeah, one. Yeah. 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 A little bit of sulfur in there, which is quite nice. It has that extra tingle and heat. What's your relation? Uh, how much of each? So, uh, a, a, a good drop of the American Force Fill. Okay. Um, about that much of uh, American Virgin. Uh, about that much of the French because of the sulfur. And about that much of the VDN. So you still have the sulfur on the taste, but it's only a hint, I think. But the sweetness comes in afterwards and kind of clears it away. So you have do 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 do. It's like I fucked it up. No sulfur on the nose. So, it, see, it, it can be used as an interesting bit of the palate, and it's a one note or a note and a half, but the sweetness of the VDN comes in and... It can be used as a frightening example. <laughs> <laughs> but it can come in and just kind of, uh, not, not get rid of it, but just uh, come in as the note next. Yeah. Mm. There's a good bit of virgin there, isn't it? You tamed the, uh, the, the sulfur piece. Sorry? You tamed the sulfur yeah. piece. Yeah. But, the, but there's still a bit of sulfur there to... Mm. That's yours? Yeah. Okay. Shall... Sure. Shall we try another farm or? Yes. Yeah, we try. <laughs> here for work. Don't want to make a blend for me. <laughs> Just that. <laughs> Just that. Oh, brilliant. Yeah, lovely. Oh, 100%. Who's this then? 2018. Right, we start with the first fill. Jared Kelly. Uh, Gerald Kelly, as opposed to Jared Kelly. Because Jared Kelly was the Pete and Gerald Kelly is from Exford. Everyone got the first fill? Do you want one, Gar? Ah? Should have little heaters for our hands. <laughs> 
Actually, we should bring bottles of water too, like forgetting that the whole time. Yeah. Um, this is a bit more subtle than the, the previous ones, I think. Now, obviously, it's a, a bit younger as well, so. You want to water? No, it's not, yeah. Too late now. <laughs> And I think this one is a bit more fruity than the previous ones. Yeah. Less, uh, less spiciness on the nose. More kind of maybe dried fruits and a little bit of um, green leaf, I think is probably what I'd say. Mm. Kind of a tropically, yeah, tropical. tropical orange juice taste there. Mmm. That's nice now. Just totally, totally different. Like just, it has a kind of sweetness that the other two single, uh, the other first fields didn't have. Like, I like those tropical, those yeah. tropical notes. And and those those notes are coming from the farm, coming from the spirit. So, yeah, that's interesting now. And again, really good oils. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Like uh, I, when I'm doing tasting notes, I have to remind myself to say that because it is our whiskey is very barley forward, be it yeah. barley or cereal or bread or yeah. something like that, like our yeah. cereal. Yeah. That's nice. So we'll have a look at the American Virgin then. Now guys, American Virgin. Okay, yeah I think so. There's one, Gary has one there, look. <laughs> Gary is three. <laughs> Ooh. This kind of reminds you of just sitting into a leather chair cozy blanket hot chocolate but the bur the bourbon note is the wood is the char so all all our american virgin casks are done to char 3 uh, you know you can go four or two but we, we, we get them all medium at char, medium it? char, all char three, yeah. Yeah, that is, that's nice. But again, has, it has a softness to the spirit, which was in one, the f first fill, whereas the other ones were, had a bit more spice to it. This has, um, uh, has that kind of sweetness that tropical notes are coming through again, like. Yeah, kind of melon, melon, sweet melon. Mm. It's 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 they it's really has a li little bit of light popping candy on the lips. It has that kind of pokering thing a little bit as well. Um, French one. Oh no, this is the VDN, French. And that's the other one then. Yep. <laughs> right, we go for the French next, throw them out there, will you? Okay. We have an extra cask in this one. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we, we all will be, all will get, the, get the rest of them there now, come on, we get going. It's starting to get cold here. This is the French one, guys. Yeah, it's, the, it's, it's the spirit like, it's coming through in the spirit. I get one there, Gary. Thank you. It's crazy that you can still pick it out. Yeah, but, 
but as that's that's where we, you know when we talk about terroir and people talk about the influence of cask of course casks have an influence it's not 60 or 70 or 80 percent uh, of of the whiskey flavor comes from the cask because not all casks are the same like but the fact you, for me that you can get the spirit in each of these three different casks with the same it's very identical yeah yeah Mm. A little, a little bit of, um, you know, the um, sour sweets, uh, pa pa pastel sours or something like. That. Has a little bit of sourness, a little, very small bit, and it's dry. Fucking too right, I want to see what it's like. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, this is the VDN cask for this farm. Thank you. Uh, I think we need one. Do we need one more? Anyone missing a VDN? Mikkel. This is this is interesting as well. It's just on the nose, the tropical notes in that are softer on the nose. Oh, that drinks really well. Oh yeah, it's it's dry as well. It has a kind of um chocolatey butterscotch slightly sweet and I think you kind of want to go back to it as well it has a little bit of brown sugar on the nose even so I'm not rushing through these but I just want to get to the next cask <laughs> so so this is the same farm okay um, and normally we just have the the four casks and but this is part of the VDN cask group and it just happened to be a rum cask so oh, we just <laughs> so I just want to see what it's like <laughs> okay very very light in the color yeah so we, we just got a few rum casks just for the sweetness because obviously we'll, be, we'll have our own casks from Grenada uh -huh. well, and we might be able to do swaps, but not for a little while, so. No, 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 no. So the, the color is very light and for me on the nose is very light as well. Which I don't mind, uh, it's just to see how it tastes with sweetness. I, I, I don't. Yeah, it's very subdued. I, I, I'd say they're probably old casks. Um, so it was it, we, because we have a different rum cask. Uh, what were I using that for? Which cuvee? Yeah, yeah. So I, I used that. Uh, yeah, I did a makeup with uh, a rum cask. And Gary, Gary has a sample of it. We, we can have a look at later. I had want to have a proper taste of it, but it's 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 much darker, it's much richer, it's much different, yeah. So this was filled in 2018. What farm number is this? Farm 24. So it's probably 19, 20, 21, 22, 20. Coming up to f coming up to about five years old, about four years and nine or ten months, I'd say. But yeah, so this is not having, for me, I can actually, it smells a bit like new make spirit, you know, so yeah. So th this is an old cask. Uh, I, I would expect uh, maybe 
old casks are good if the sweetness is in it, but the sweet, sweetness is not in that cask. And that's where, you, you know, you could have another cask right beside it where the sweetness is in it, but we're not getting the sweetness out of this. But actually, when I go back and taste it, it's, it has a little bit of that tropical note. So, so we'll, I'll attempt to do, a, or we'll do another little makeup and see how that goes. Did you taste any spiciness in any of those whiskies? <coughs> I think the palate is nice, but I always fuck up the finish. <laughs> you taste that now and see. Where does the spiciness come from? But it's there. Well, that's, that's, yeah. And there's a long finish on that. And the spiciness is there, which wasn't in the individual ones. So that's my one. And yeah, that's funny that the way that, that's, that's really long. Yeah. Yeah. That's really long. That's still going. That'll be still going when I'm going out the gate. <laughs> So the spiciness just comes, I don't know where it comes from there. It's not too textile on the nose though. No. But definitely on the taste it has it's not far off uh, where it was, it's a little bit warm. Oh that's grand. Uh, have we one glass empty? Em empty that one down there. So this, yeah. So this one was at room temperature. give back to you as if it's yours. Yeah. This, this is Peter, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So, so this is a, a rum cask with uh, Peter whiskey. Oh. For, we're doing a Peter cuvee. <laughs> <laughs> it's warm, yeah. It's, uh, it, 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 it was down beside his. It was down beside his. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's obviously when it's warm, you can. Don't mind the one glass, if you don't. The 60 something percent will kill it. Nice. Sorry. Can you bring the second card from this row in our bottle? It's good, yeah. <laughs> Don't mind him, Gary. That's the most important. Yeah. Okay, good. Oh yeah. I think we are friends. <laughs> that's that's, that's good, good, yeah. You can see without me off the whole note. The game is one for the ball. Oh. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. Yeah. That's the game part, is it? Yeah. <laughs> one for the ball. 
green castle. Well, second That's castle mine. of the world. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. That's off. That's a, that, <laughs> that's a, uh, ro Peter's whiskey in a rum cask. That's fine. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and obviously much different color and much different sweet, sweet. Ah, oh, yeah, but like yeah, yeah, sweetness and everything. 